Welcome to another short read from the book We Are the Ancient Egyptians Meet the People Behind the History and the person we are going to meet today is a naval commander. I am a naval commander. Egypt's military forces fight many battles on land and at sea and I serve the pharaoh by commanding a fleet of ships in his great navy. My name is Tanotep and the men I command go to sea in vessels called Kebentiu. These have a sail as well as 30 strong oarsmen. So we can see that here. They've got one sail here and these are the oarsmen. We don't quite see 30 of them, but I'm sure there are. Which makes them much faster than the ships of our enemies. The two larger oars are at the back and are used to steer the ship during a battle. Once it is in the right position, archers on board can fire hundreds of arrows with deadly accuracy. Here we can also see the archers firing their arrows against this enemy ship. Years ago, when I first joined the Navy, all of our ships were quite small. Most battles took place on land and the ships were just used to transport soldiers to wherever our enemies were. Now though, navy vessels are built for fighting at sea. They are made of cedar wood, which means they are larger and faster than before. Wood from cedar trees is hard and strong, but it is also more expensive because the finest ships require the best wood from the biggest trees. Most of this has to come from other countries because very few trees grow in a hot desert country like Egypt. All soldiers and sailors know that in battle it is important to surprise the enemy. Once I ordered my men to carry an entire ship across dry land from one river to another. It was hard work in the heat and it took more than two days, but my cunning plan worked brilliantly. While our enemies looked for us in the desert, we were able to sneak up and surprise them by attacking from behind. It was a proud moment for the Navy and for me, Tehotep. An important battle was won thanks to my idea and the bravery of my men. Thank you and goodbye.